Richard, I'm Michael Rose. It's nice to meet you. We're going to do a little interview. Do well, you pay for this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, you know, people ask me why I do this. Yeah. And I tell them because the pay is out of this world. It really is out of this world. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, Richard, do you believe in God? I, not in the religious aspect. I believe more in a spiritual sense that there's something. I mean, look around. There's got to be some kind of a plan. But I don't believe in a patriarchal God. I just don't believe that some guy with a white flowing beard is watching us and judging us if we do good or bad. I do believe that there is, you know, uh, evolution mm -hmm. and that there is a plan that human beings can't really put into words because it's beyond our understanding. Mm -hmm. I definitely do believe in something like that. Okay, so you believe that your great, 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 great grandfather was, 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 was maybe an, a, an ape? Yeah. You do, okay. Have you ever studied the, the counter evidence uh, for creationism? What, no, what, what is that? Okay, we'll give you a, a DVD you can take with you yeah. that, that shows you why evolution probably doesn't exist. Do, doesn't exist. Okay, so a different belief. Yeah. I'm all ears for that. Actually, actually that we were created by an intelligent creator yeah. who actually knew what he was doing. It's like, for instance, are you familiar with the bacteria flagellum? Yeah. Okay. I've heard it, yeah. Okay, okay so you yeah. know that it's the, a, a very efficient motor that yeah. they found on the inside of a cell that yeah. could not have evolved. Right. It had right. to be created by someone or something, a concept. Okay. Interesting. Well, uh, do you believe in Jesus? No. Do you believe he was a man, that he walked the earth? I believe there's some, some guy that walked the earth named Jesus, but I don't believe in the story of Christ. Right. I understand. So. Obviously, don't believe that Jesus could have died for your sins. No, um, not at all. Uh, do, do you believe in heaven and hell? No. Again, my mind works a lot in a scientific, logical way. Um, I like seeing the facts. Mm -hmm. I'm not closed-minded to it because I've had a lot of experiences myself where I was like, this couldn't have been an accident. Mm -hmm. There must be... Uh, as, can I share a little story? Sure, sure. A very good friend of mine recently actually uh, passed away from cancer. And I was in the hospital you know, holding her hand once she took that last breath. And she was a survivor for over seven years. Doctor gave, doctor only gave her about, what, a couple of months? And she fought it for seven to eight years. And, and they did the whole, our father, the, the rites of passage thing before someone passes away. And when she took her last breath, I don't know if it was my mind doing this or if this actually happened by, felt on the inside that her spirit went like this, that just ascended. And the next couple of days were very, very spiritual for me. I felt like there was something out there trying to say to me, she's okay now, she's in peace, uh, she's happy where she's at. So there are moments where I felt like there's a, a spirit world. I mean, I've had friends who see ghosts. Okay. You know, and I saw them myself. I'm thinking, wait a minute. Well, and so and, I do. And, and so I'm not close and, and, to them for the most and, part. My, uh, the strong belief is that, you know, that I don't believe in religion, I don't believe in a God, I don't believe in Jesus, but I am open-minded. Okay, so you, you, you believe it's possible that we go somewhere when we die then? It's possible. But, 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 I mean, Einstein's theory of energy is energy never dies. Right. So when we pass away, we're not just dead. Yeah, I'm open-minded. Okay, so, so if, if there was a God right. who, who actually wanted you to know him personally, you would be open to that. Well, yeah, that would be a, an experience that, that I think that only one could <laughs> And that's the answer. No, just kidding. I think if there was a God, I would have to be very, 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 very open-minded because I think it takes a certain kind of person to see a God. And I think when we're dead, we get all the answers. Well, that's we, right. Unless just, you have the just, answers. Just, you know? food, just food for thought, okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not trying to be presumptuous and say, you know, well, I, I know, but, sure. I, but you know, well, talk I, to me but I do, you know, yeah. so, yeah. so I've got to tell you, the sure. Bible says it's appointed a man wants to die and then the judgment. And that's what it says. Right. Um, I believe the reason that we're here mm -hmm. in this life is we make a decision as to what we're going to do with the information that we've been given to find God. 
Right. Now, the Bible also says, knock and the door will be open. Seek and you will find. So God doesn't make himself like this unknowable, unfindable, uh, actually wants you to come to him, but he wants you to come to him on his terms. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have uh, struggle a lot with, well, God has all these ridiculous rules for me to live my life by. Mm -hmm. And uh, Richard, I would ask you someday, do you think you'll have children? Oh, uh, okay. Maybe later, as maybe my later. mind changes, my body changes. If you had children mm -hmm. and you live next to a freeway, and your kids really like playing in, in the freeway, you'd have some pretty strict rules about them not doing that, wouldn't you? If I care for them, sure, yeah. If you care uh, for them. Of course, yeah, okay. absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. and I would suggest that God's rules for our life are much like that because he knows that we're playing in the freeway with some dangerous things that are obviously going to uh, hurt us and separate us from, from him. Right. And what he really desires from each one of us because the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believed in him would not perish but have eternal life. So God so loved us that he mm -hmm. really wanted us to know him. Mm -hmm. But it does involve following him. Mm -hmm. But he's totally knowable. He totally wants you to find him. So mm -hmm. um, does that arouse any interest at all? Well, it's uh, a deep question. Oh, yeah. They, 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 yeah. It's not like, yeah, sure, let's go. You know. No, no. And, it's and, it's and, a very deep question, and I think a um, lot of soul searching has to be done. I, I spent years in the yoga temple believing everything was positive and negative energy, yes. trying to work out yeah. my bad karma and not wanting to believe, at, at all costs, not wanting to believe in the whole personal devil, personal God thing because that just seemed ridiculous to me and, yeah. and archaic and... and uh, uh, I believe that reality is not reality, it's just a neurological process that occurs in our brains. Mm -hmm. Because right now, as we are speaking, there is one million bits of information being transferred through your nervous system. Mm -hmm. Now, we cannot handle this on a conscious level, so our brain magically uh, generalizes, distorts it. And then through your sixth sense, it creates your, what they call, your map of reality. You know, it was in my mid-40s that I actually found Jesus through the Jewish Bible, because the prophecies about Jesus, he fulfilled over 300 prophecies in the Jewish Bible that talk about the coming Messiah. Right. And Jesus was crucified for claiming to be who he was, mm -hmm. uh, God. So uh, either he was a, a, a liar, or he was a, a crazy man, or he was who he said he was. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's some interesting stuff. I believe if that had a religion, it would be uh, the religion of humanity. And I think that's uh, where most people kind of go their separate ways. So I, I do believe about me, I, I, I gotta see it to believe it. Okay. I gotta understand, I can't just go blindly. Uh, and, and, into and, and it's so weird. I mean, we're all equal on this planet. We're all human beings for God's sakes. But, I mean, in the name of... God. Well, you, can, I well, can I say God? Yeah, yeah you, you did say God, yes. You know, we're, thank God for that. <laughs> and, and you said God again. I did, oh my God. Oh, three <laughs> times. Three times. Three, Trinity. So, so <laughs> yeah, but, but your idea of who God is is obviously not my idea who right. God is. So we have different reality views mm -hmm. as to who God is. But we have but, a common purpose. But if God is real, right. then he gets to tell us who he is. It doesn't matter what you think God is or who I think God is, uh, he gets to tell us who he is. Well then, why do we have free will then? Why? Because God allowed us free will because otherwise we'd be like puppy dogs or robots. He had to give man a choice to freely choose him or else we'd just be programmed to love God. He had to give us free will. I'm just taking in what okay. you're saying. I like this conversation, by the way. Well, yeah, is... I'm enjoying this too. If he had not given us free will, and we just automatically loved God, we just, you know, like a dog, like a, like a, like a dog loves its owner. He, he knew that wouldn't be real love. Mm -hmm. That he had to give us a choice. And in this life, that's why we're here on this planet, to either choose God or not. We have our own, okay. I mean, if that works for one person, God bless them.
But I think if someone doesn't believe in God, does that make him bad? Well, it I mean, means that they've chosen to live outside of the true source of all light and hope. They have? Well, if they're still a good person, they're faithful, they're, they have uh, a good job. They but you understand that by default, we're all born into a sinful nature. Yeah. Have you personally yourself seen God? No. But I've felt him. The most important thing is love. Okay. If you don't have love for your fellow man, then you, you're missing out on the big mm -hmm. uh, spectrum of life. Mm -hmm. But just for uh, debate. Okay. Uh, do you have kids? Uh, not that I know of. Not that you... Okay. <laughs> uh, are, are you married? Uh, yes, this is my That's... wife. Oh, uh, so cute. We're getting together for a common... Uh, but you see, you aligned yourself with someone that has the same... No, actually, God, God put her in my life. But you could have said, I don't want this person. Well, I could have. You know, hands but, off the material. But actually, we didn't know God. We were working in the nightclubs as nightclub entertainers. Okay? Yeah. And then, really? and then we actually owned a house together. We're successful, found God, and got married. And now, now we're doing this. Uh, your belief is your belief, and I, it's an admirable belief because you believe in a good cause. Uh, my job is just a challenge. I'll bet you... Um, that I could read your wife's mind on oh, what she's thinking, what number she's thinking. And if I'm right, God doesn't exist. If I'm wrong, he does exist. Actually, I, I wouldn't put God to that test. You wouldn't put God to that test? No. Why not? You don't believe in him? No, I do believe in him, but I don't believe that whether you could guess the number my wife was thinking or not, uh, whether you were able to do that would have any relevance on whether God was real. But would you believe that there might be a higher power? Well, I believe there is a higher power, for well, sure. Okay, well, let's try real quick, just for giggles. Oh, there, I know there's a mathematical formula. You're going to tell me to add a number and subtract a number and stuff? Okay, so, well, you know what, though? I guess I... Just, just indulge my stupidity. You know what it is? What my hesitancy is, is yeah. that there actually totally is a spiritual realm, and when you get into stuff like ESP, you're tapping into an evil spirit realm. Yeah. And so I don't know if I want to play a part in it. You uh -huh. see, it's either a parlor trick that has to do with mathematics, or else it's a demonic thing. I don't think I want to indulge in it. I actually don't. You're right, it is a parlor trick, and I respect that you actually stand up for your beliefs. Okay. So that's awesome. Good for you. Yeah. High five. You get 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But no, that's well, respectable. God yeah, did exist. Um, I would accept uh, him or her. Or it. And I know that somewhere deep down inside it, there is a forgiveness. And I know I'm just a, a victim of my humanity and I like to question God. Like, the, I'm sure you've heard this argument, well, if God exists, then why would he allow such tragedy to happen in the world? And there was a time where I did believe in God, and I, when I was younger. And I would get very offended when people didn't believe in God. I think, you're crazy. How can you not believe in God? Then as I got older, as life happened to me, I, you know, life was no bed of roses. I've, there's, there's been some uh, hard moments, I'm sure, in everyone's life. And if it is a test, well... It's a hard test. Yeah. It's not easy, but I've seen so many people go through a transition and how religion, when it's done correctly, not for financial gain or for power. Right. And I think nowadays it's gone like that, especially with the scandals with the church. Well, but that, and that those, 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 those people will all thing. have to stand in front of a holy God and account mm -hmm. for the wrong they've done and actually will be held in a higher accountability for having used the gospel for their own right. personal gain. Right. So that's obviously not what we do, mm -hmm. and, and uh, the Bible speaks very harshly against people doing that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, people will do all kinds of scams. Yeah, right? and I think you could be right, this could be a big test, and you know, it's hard to really believe in something that you've never seen. And I do believe that one of the secrets to happiness is faith, is religion, and is a good marriage. And is a positive outlook on life. Uh, but I think as we get older, sometimes that gets a little bit crumpled up, and we—it's easier to be negative. It's hard to be positive. Well, it, it really and, is. and and 
quite frankly, without God, it's easy to be negative. If, if, if yeah, God doesn't, doesn't exist, uh, and this is all an elaborate accident, mm -hmm. then what's the sense in suffering at all? Why not, if life gets bad, why not just uh, take a pill and check out? Some people do that. And, people, and, and it would make this life very meaningless then. Yeah. Because it's very short. I mean, you're only 26 years old, right? Yeah. Uh, but let me tell you, you know, I'm 60 years old. Are you really? Yeah. And, and, Get and out of here. I am. I was born I swear to God. I swear to God. I'll show you. I'll show no, you. you look very good. For, wow, what's your secret? Um, Jesus. Do you yoga or? No. No, I, 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 don't, I don't deserve to be in good shape, you know. 45. Well, well, thank you. Yeah. And, and I was also going to tell you that as you get older, time goes by faster. Well, it just seems like yesterday I was 40. Really? Yeah. I mean, oh, boom. It was yesterday. Oh. You know, 10 years start scaling by. Oh. So, uh, so uh, Richard, let me encourage you not to yeah. believe what I've told you, but right. to research the truth and consider that, you know, that God sent his son to die for you. Consider... Um, what the Bible says mm -hmm. about how we're supposed to live our lives. And don't believe it because I'm telling you that's the way God wants us right. to live our, our right. lives. But believe the truth. Right. And uh, I just leave, leave you with that thought. Uh, research the truth. Yeah. It'll stand up to examination. Yeah. And, and it will expose the lies. Mm -hmm. And then follow the truth. Because why would you want to live a, a lie in this, in this life? Right. It's very short. Right. And it'll be over before you know it. And, and, and if God is who I know him to be, yeah. it's very important that you know him. Okay? Okay. Appreciate thank you. That, man. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. And thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you for yeah. being interviewed and your openness. Yeah. Totally awesome. Your wife oh. wants to be interviewed now. Of course she does.